what the heater's costing to run, how much dirt has the pre-filter caught, I've got a filter system for sale, and I've also got a new toy. Okay guys, now I don't know whether you've ever seen one of these before, I know I hadn't. It's um, what they call a spy cam aqua. You actually put it in the water and it's like a little submarine that uh, you direct and steer around your pond. And it's all got, also got a camcorder in it. So I can't wait to get it in the pond and have a look round so we can get some underwater shots of my fish and my pond. And as I say, it's powered, it's got lights, so you can actually sort of steer it around the pond and have a good look at your fish in the pond. So I'm going to get it out of the box and have a look and see what uh, there is to getting it going. But it looks really good, I'm quite intrigued with this. So we'll see how it goes. Well guys, here it is out of the box and I've got the batteries in it. It's got propellers either side for turning, it's got lights on the front. It's got a propeller underneath so it can go higher or lower in the water and obviously the camera on the front. So what I'm going to do is give this a test run, I think. We'll give it a test run and just see. They say it might take a little bit of getting used to, so I'll give a little practice run in the fish tank, I think, just to see how things go. Okay guys, here we are. I'm going to pop it into the tank and we're gonna see how things go so there it is in the tank let's see if we can get some movement on it oh well, there it goes straight down This is good. Fish don't seem to mind it. Swimming about with them. Right, I'm going to have to put my phone down now so I can get a bit of video in done and we'll see what happens. bit of practice with it but uh, it seems a good little tool but like I say I shall have to get some bit more practice so that I'll get a bit better at it okay guys I have been running the temperature at about 12 degrees and it's coming up to the first of Jan and what I'm going to do is give them a winter I'm going to drop the temperature slowly now for the next week what's it now I have started dropping it I hope you can see that it's about 11 and a half degrees so it's slowly coming down 
over this next week I'm going to be dropping it down and I'm going to winter them for about four weeks and then at the end of the four weeks I shall start to build the temperature back up again but uh, I'm just going to winter them out for four weeks and hopefully kill a few of the parasites off in the pond and just rest them the problem is with why I've heated this is not to uh, keep them feeding through the winter or whatever it's just to make our winters so they're not as long our winters are too long for koi three or four months is too much so what I'm going to do is just give them four weeks of winter and at the end of January I shall build it back up again and lift the temperature until it becomes a normal temperature as I've said it's now down to 11.5 I'm going to slowly drop it down this week and switch it off altogether for the next four weeks just to winter them out and then we shall lift it back up again at the end of January give them about four weeks of rest well guys I just wanted to show you um, what I've done I've disconnected the pre-filter the pressure filter that I run just before the pump and I just want to show you um, what it has collected and stopped going into my filters and that's what it's caught I obviously have over the winter gained a bit of an algae problem in the pond but I don't mind that because I'll just clover leaf that as soon as the weather picks up a bit but uh, there's a load of sludge in the bottom there I don't think you can be able to see it there's a load of sludge in the bottom of it and it's caught all that algae, stopped all that algae going into my filters which is doing a really good job so that's the pressure filter that's fitted just before the pump and just to show it's working I'll just get the hose now and rinse it all off because I'm not interested in the bacteria that doesn't really matter in here it's only a pre-filter so I'll just give that a good hosing down put it all back together and strike it up again Well there you go guys, all clean out, hosed off. I did actually take all the sponge to pieces and just to hose out any dirt that was in there. There was a bit of dirt but uh, it was mainly algae. So it's done a brilliant job at stopping algae getting into my filters. And that's through the winter. So I shall now put it all back together and we'll strike it all back up again. And there you go guys, all back up and running. Nicely clean out and all going back to the pond well it's a nice one, I'm getting a little bit of air up in tub one uh, I don't know whether you can see it but that will stop it's just air that's got into the system that will slowly move you might see the odd bubble appearing in there but nothing much you can see them over that side probably the odd bubble appearing but that will calm down and stop once all the air has gone out the system and all back up and running again this was the uh, dirt that I actually got out. This is all the algae and rubbish that actually came out the filter, which I've got to clean up again, by the way. Uh, there is some down there. As I say, I did take the sponges apart and give them a good hosing out. I thought I might as well. We're halfway through winter, so I thought that'd be a good clear out for it. So there we go. That's the pre-filter all clean and running well again okay guys what a lot of you are interested in is the heater on the pond and what it's cost and how it's done well I've had it running up until the 1st of January and the problem was being as we're all electric here when it came cold and the heater cut in so did our heating <laughs> and it's all electric so it was really difficult to tell what the heater was actually costing our central heating system is one of these heat pump airflow systems very efficient uh, as I say that cut in the same time as the pond pump so it was very difficult to decide which was costing the more money but now it's still cold it comes cold at nights and the heating's still cutting on and running but I've switched the pond pump off so now I've got a good idea of what the pond pump was costing me but what I've actually done now is because I don't want to keep them um, up to temperature all, all through the winter. What I want to do now is winter them. Give them a little bit of a winter. Now the cost, I can tell you, uh, give you a rough idea of the cost now. 
now the pump is turned off I've got an actual idea of when it's cold what our heating and house is costing so I've been able to work out roughly what it's costing me to run the pond heater as you can obviously see I've got the covers up today the temperature in the pond is about 7.2 but the outside temperature is 10 degrees today we've got a bit of sunshine so I thought well I'll lift that up and give them a bit of fresh air and uh, a little bit of daylight proper daylight okay so in the filled house here you can see I hope that it is running about seven degrees and it's 10.6 outside it's running about seven and a half degrees the lowest it has got is six degrees so it's not really getting over cold in there for them it's not cold enough to kill the parasites I don't think but obviously that's the installation doing its job now cost wise I have roughly worked it out and it is costing me about two pound a day between two pound and two pound fifty per day to keep the temperature at 12 degrees now it did cost quite a considerable amount more I was keeping the pond at 10 degrees and decided to lift it to the 12 degrees and it got quite expensive heating the water up that extra two degrees it's okay keeping it at a level but if you want to heat the water up that's when it can become expensive so I think two pound a day two pound 25 a day something like that isn't really expensive for heating 2,000 gallons of water so it's roughly you can say about two pound a day this is to keep it at 12 degrees okay guys what I have got for sale if anybody's interested but it will have to be collection only is a minor system it's the one I used to run on the holding tank uh, I've got the minor system for sale plus I've got the media to go with it so it's the whole kit give you a quick look inside um, they're all the same it's the full minor system minor system for sale and I want £110 for it if anybody's interested that includes the media so it's once you've got it connected up it's all ready to run so I have there the minor system for sale it's for smaller ponds about a thousand gallon but if anybody's interested that is for sale but it like I say it will have to be collection only from PE12 so if you live in the area or fancy coming and collecting it I want £110 for it for anybody that's interested for those of you that haven't seen it that is the heater I'm using it's a Profi 3 kilowatt heater they do say that the 3 kilowatt heaters are a bit more economical than the 2 kilowatt as they heat the water that much quicker so that's the 3 kilowatt one I do think that's the maximum you can run from any normal power supply the three kilowatt I must say I haven't used my UV much at all through the winter it's been off most of the time I will shut the taps off to that side once we get back into the summer and whip the bulb and the glass out and give it a clean before we start again but as it's only done half a season I'm gonna give it this season and I shall replace the bulb at the end or the beginning of next season that should be okay as you all know you do have to replace your bulb every season in your UV to make sure that it is working but like I say as that's only done half a season um, I'm going to try to see if I can get through next season or this coming season with the one that's in it so this brings us to the end of another video so all that's left to say is thanks for watching take care and happy ponding <laughs>